Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear Workshop. My name is Pat Bear and I'm here to build a model kit and hang out with all of you. It's a Lego set. Technically, I'm building a Lego set tonight, but you knew what I meant. I'm throwing the Bearcade Lego set at the mode in the chat. If you're a currently subscriber, go ahead and reply with those emotes, or you could use other people's emotes, or you could just say hi, or you could be uh, uh, like Afro uh, Raptor there, uh, Raptor to say woo. Woo is great. Lashbrook is here. Ghost Valve is here. We've got a great crew here already. Um, happy to have you all here at the old Build with Bear. Uh, we we're working on the child Lego set. Yes, woo indeed. Um, here, here it is. It's a, it's, it's a big solid mass of a thing. Uh, doesn't have uh, hands. Only has one arm. Uh, doesn't have a head yet. We'll be working on the uh, one hand, the other arm, and the other hand, and maybe we'll get into the head. Uh, I have uh, bag six nold and bag seven nold, and then there's just bag eight. So I don't think we're going to finish this tonight, but we could finish it on Monday, which would be great because I have been enjoying this kit, but I also would love to move on to like a model kit, uh, like a high grade that only takes like, I don't know, uh, one and a half streams to build, you know, just to get something back in. Because before we built this, we built the, uh, 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 well, you can see over there in the box there, uh, the Xeong, and that was quite the build. That was, uh, that was several, several streams, and it was a detailed kit. So I would love to work on something kind of easy, you know. I don't have any Zakus or anything in my, in my background. But, like, I got the Wing Zero Sky, the Sky Zero or whatever, um, which is just a Wing Zero with a different paint job. And be like, that's perfect. I would love to just build, like, a Wing Kit, you know, like a 2016 reissue of the Wing Kit with a different paint job. That sounds... Wow. Um, that, to make sure, to be clear, I've enjoyed this, but I'm looking forward to building something else. Uh, tonight, I'll be working on this Lego set. Uh, we'll be chatting up such topics as I purchased and ate too much Domino's yesterday. Um, uh, we have to talk about, they're not even in the NFT space, but the idea that they could be uh, caused a huge uproar for Gumroad, um, mostly due to the fact that their CEO shouldn't have access to their Twitter account or his own Twitter account, let's be real. Uh, and then also, like, there's a little bit of, like, Stadia rumors that are, like, kind of interesting to maybe talk about. Uh, I'll maybe do an update of living alone and how that's been going. Uh, maybe some D&D &D talk, because I did get a D&D &D session in today. Um, and just general hanging out. We'll see what you want to chat about. In the second hour, we'll talk about um, a very good premise for a manga that I'm not really enjoying the manga, but I love the premise. Um, uh, we'll talk about that. we talk about uh, some anime that I'm watching. And just like other stuff that comes up in conversation, because sometimes tangents happen, which is fun. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to go reply to my tweet, see if we can get a few more friends to come join us tonight, because uh, we, don't, we don't have a ton of, uh, of friends hanging out with us, which is fine. It happens. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, okay. And we'll go to the overhead right here. There's the overhead. There we go. So yeah, you can see here, this is the top. Uh, oh, I did not change. Sorry, I got to change something. I'm looking up. Uh, I forgot to figure video, focus, turn autofocus off. Got to turn the autofocus off. Otherwise, it'll focus. It'll start autofocusing every time I move my arm, which we, we don't want. Um, still getting that again. I don't love that. Don't that. Nope, that doesn't help it. That helps me. Yeah. All right, that's better, but it's not great. Anyway, one of the lights that's supposed to light my face has a the problem of also lighting um, my swing arm for my microphone. You can see right there. And it causes, like, this line that I don't enjoy. But whatever, it's fine. There's shadows because of my arms. It, unfortunately, that is the setup we're dealing with right here where I can't balance the light. Um, this is part of a larger thing that I will say is there are there is money that I could could invest in in uh, oh, well, you can see the overhead camera there. You don't like that. 
there is money that I could invest in various ways to make this whole presentation better, right? Lighting, um, I, I could invest in a better chair that I'm currently using that would make my life more, uh, things more comfortable. There, there's things we could do, right? Balancing the lighting is something I would definitely love to do, but we're just not at the point where we can do that right now uh, without uh, expense, without paying, paying a, a, a certain expense, uh, which I am not willing to do because that's money I, I'm not saving to move back to New York. Like I have to have savings. Um, I have not saved as much money since uh, July 2020 when I moved down here than I would like. Uh, lighting looks all right to me. Big fan of overhead cameras though. Oh yes, I mean, the overhead camera is really important, but yeah, I mean, it's just like, there are shadows, like my arms casting, like all the shadow stuff. Um, having the overhead light that I have here, uh, you can probably see that, um, is very important for making this look good. But really, I would love to not have this overhead light and have all my lighting come from like, you know, just kind of like lighting the room up with it with, without having overlaps, having some wide reflected light uh, with uh, umbrellas behind uh, the camera or the uh, screens. That would be uh, great. That's what I had in New York uh, and was very happy with also because of using uh, the light being bounced off of umbrellas. Uh, it wasn't shining in my eyes. It was, you know, pointing out and that was excellent. Um, so I would love to have that again, but that's money that like, I didn't want to ship that gear here. Of course, I've been here longer than I originally anticipated, but I also didn't want to ship that stuff. And then I don't want to buy it and then have to sell it. You know what I mean? Um, those are, those are things that I'm kind of like been thinking about, uh, is okay. Well, like the third monitor, like getting the third monitor, getting the new stand for the three monitors. This, this is good. Like this will work for me. Um, you know, it might be a thing where when I move, I don't take both monitors. I don't take all three monitors. I go back to doing a dual monitor and I leave a monitor here and who cares? And then, you know, I can plug in my, my mom can plug a laptop into a monitor uh, if she wanted to, or when I'm visiting and I just bring my laptop, I can plug in and, and run it like that. Like I, I've been thinking a bit about that here and there. Um, I, I've been, I was looking at computers. I was looking at like, well, you know, my parents have a Costco account. I could look at like, they got some pre-built on Costco that are like, they're, the thing is they're not bad for the money because you're already going to spend so much money on graphics cards right now that like pre-built are getting those graphic cards, graphic cards. So it's like, oh, is that like, I'm like, yeah, that could be worth it. Um, but that's the thing, right? The money that I'm spending on a new computer is money that I would I'd be better off spending on uh, um, on uh, on like living expenses while I transition or moving costs while I transition move. Well, he did get one recently. Yeah. So a, a bunch of people are are doing uh, are doing that kind of thing. I know I know that um, that Patrick did get one. Patrick isn't a computer builder. You know, he's not a PC builder, um, but also now's not a great time to be a PC builder. Uh, and you can scour as a part time job, uh, you know, like use parts picker. You can you can hit all the sites. You can use all of the tools out there to your disposal to find these deals or the best you can and get these things going. You know, the secondary markets, you know, you can get used cases and, you know, like there's a bunch of stuff you can do. Um, but it, it is a it is a rough thing if you're like making all of those moves and you don't know how to like follow up by like building a PC. Now I can build a computer. I built the computer I'm using right now. Um, it runs fine. I clean it pretty often. I've been thinking of I've been thinking of little things to do to like make things better. Like what I should have done in like 2019, 2020 was buy a better graphics card. I have a 970 right now. Uh, I believe that I have a Core i5 and a 970, uh, GTX 970. And that's not great, but it gets the job done uh, for what I need. And I could upgrade to a better uh, GPU, uh, but you know, with prices right now, it doesn't really make sense to do that. You just might as well get a new computer. Uh, I have thought about getting a better, like, it's like, oh, maybe I can get, like, 
I don't know, like get better air moving around in there. Like I clean it, yeah, you know, but like maybe I can get like better cooling fan, like a CPU cooler, like I don't know, maybe I get like a radiator and a cooler, like an all-in-one. Like maybe I could do that. And that might help performance, but like is that really going to make a big difference on my current computer? Not really. What I really need is like I mean, what I would love to have is obviously like live the dream, have the two computers, have the streaming computer and then the capture computer. But we're not going to have that. That's not going to happen. I'm play like I'm going to be streaming and uh, playing games, but I don't play, you know, high intensity things on here. Um, I play like Dorf Romantique and uh, Power Power Wash Simulator is kind of the biggest like CPU hog Game, game that I play and that's mostly because it's not fully optimized right now they'll get it'll get better uh, than it is well, we're building fingers here on our hands um but I'm certainly like you know I, I look at some of those prices and I'm like well you know I I'm getting some money back on my taxes this year probably because I don't make a lot hmm what how do I say this? Um, I don't make a lot of taxable income and I expect to receive some of that money back. Not a lot, but some of it will come back to me. Um, and so I'm like, well, I guess let me see how I'm doing, how I do, right? Let me see how much money I'm getting back from my taxes and look at my savings and see what's up right like let me take a look as i said folks my folks are costco members like i can look at their i can like investigate that shit uh you know also looking at new egg and like i'm, I'm not looking for a pre-built on amazon like the pre-built on amazon right now are the like well, i mean they're very expensive ones obviously but the the ones that aren't expensive that are like the deals are worse computers than i currently use so it's like no that's not whatever and then look have i in the past uh tried to win a computer that one of the tech youtubers that makes computers had done giveaways for i mean yeah i'm doing that all the fucking time like you know, like, sure, I'm good. Sure, I'm going to do that. Like, what's the harm? It's like, yeah, I'll, I'll fucking try to win some random ass PC that I'm not going to actually win. Sure, that would be cool. Like, that's kind of right now. That is partially my game plan. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll just win a new computer. I'm not I'm not going to win. And I understand win a new computer. It's OK. It's fine that I know that I'm not going to win a computer. It's all right. I'm not actually I'm not actually like holding out hope that I win. Uh, I've never won any of that shit. I don't expect to ever do that. All right, I think we're done here with our hands. Yes, I believe one hand is done here. So we can, yes, we can attach that here on our arm, bring this back over, and we're just popping that in right here. This is the arm that doesn't move, and the other one I believe does have some movement. Yeah, but if you won, everyone would, uh, would know because you would have all those sick LEDs. Oh, yeah. I would have so many cool LEDs and, like, I would have to learn, like, water cooler maintenance because I don't know that shit right now because I've never had to water. I've never water cooled a PC before. Is this the right part? Yeah, that is the right part. Uh, yeah, I've never had to, I've never owned a PC that had a water cooler. So I'd have to like learn preventative water cooler maintenance uh, and whatever. Like, I know I, I can learn how to fill that. I, I, I could I can learn, but it's not a thing that I have any uh, background in. But yeah, yeah, they already know that like all the sick LEDs that I would have to like turn to like pale blue uh, and less and not movement because I don't have any sick. Uh, like bullshit RGB nonsense on any of my computers. I just nev never had it. Never had any interest in it. Uh, my graphics card has some lights 
but you can't see them because the case I have doesn't have like a plexiglass or anything or real glass. So there's no proof to that. Um, I had a mouse that, uh, not this mouse, this mouse is cheapo. This is a cheapo Amazon basic mouse that is very lightweight. It's way too lightweight, but it's fine. And, and it was on sale on like a lightning deal. Uh, but I had a, a different mouse uh, for a while that um, you could set to uh, different, um, like your, your, your um, uh, mm, what is it called? Uh, DPI, you could change a different DPI and each setting was a different LED color. And so you would like click on a button and switch and it would be like red is for gaming and blue is for office work and green is for i don't know but like it was one of those things where i was just like this is like probably very cool for somebody but i'm not the person to like be like oh sick i'm the person that's just like weird okay sure uh logic one i have has that but just leave it in one setting i can't deal with the others yeah yeah, I mean, it's like, I like I said, I understand why some people, like, being able to switch between, like, profiles on your mouse would be cool as hell. Uh, I'm just not the person that uh, is looking for that. I'm looking for, down here, uh, I'm looking for, like, ease, ease of use. Uh, and I just want a mouse that works for everything that I'm doing. Uh, I also, like I said, this mouse is pretty lightweight, which is fine. Uh, cause I prefer that over heavy ass mouse that like mice, I should say heavy ass mouse, a, a mouse that is so heavy that like moving it around is like painful for my wrist. Like I've had a few mice like that and just like, no, I don't, I don't want that shit. That, that to me is a waste of my time and my energy. Uh, let me just check something real quick here. Apologies folks. Just checking something real, real quick. All right. Okay. There. Oh boy, what's happening here? Uh, I'll get this retweet. Appreciate that. Uh, oh, that's nice. Thank you, Plastic Model Weekender. Plamo. Plamo is coming in April. Uh, I believe that if you are a model kit builder and you are interested in checking out the Plastic Model Weekender, which is a uh, weekend marathon of uh, different model kit building streamers uh, raising money for charity, you can check that out. Uh, let me... Let me find out the actual details of that as I'm saying it. I don't have a card here, but we got retweeted by Plamo. Uh, it started last year, uh, and uh, it will be, yes, uh, April 29th to May 1st. And presenter applications are open right now. Um, uh, you can check out more at uh, uh, twitter.com slash Plamo Weekender. That's Plamo Weekender. I have also retweeting it on my Twitter. You can check out my Twitter for that. Um, I will be, look, uh, my application is in. Most likely I am doing it again. Uh, if a bunch of people who are incredibly famous, who are well-known streamers, are all like, I'm doing it this year. I didn't do it last year, but I'm doing it this year. Uh, get involved, then maybe I'll get bumped uh, because I am not a famous uh, I'm a consistent, but I'm certainly not like well known in in that world. Um, but uh, well, yeah. But if there's like most likely, I'll be doing it. Um, and I have my scheme, my uh, uh, attempt to uh, increase. Um, what do you call it? What what word am I looking for? Oh, donations. That was a word that should have been in my head and wasn't. Uh, my scheme to get more donations during my during my shift uh, is that for every fifty dollars raised, cumulative doesn't mean every person who donates fifty dollars, but if two people each donate twenty five dollars and we hit the fifty dollar mark, for every fifty dollars, I will open one pack of some kind of trading cards uh, from the va vast world of trading cards that are easily accessible. I went to a store and bought a big bag of unopened random ass like sports cards. And then I have other cards as well. I will have one repeat uh, pack from last year that was very popular. Uh, but basically it's just like somebody 
you know, I hit $50 because of donations. I stop whatever I'm doing in the build because I'll be building a model kit, obviously, during it. And then I just go, okay, well, people gave me money. So now I have to open this pack of uh, last year's cards were, um, let's see, uh, something from like a Dragon Ball game, a trading card game, uh, Japanese Pokemon cards, which was really fun to open. Uh, and I have beaten that as far as a weird uh, deck of cards in a different language. I have a better one than that for this year. No spoilers, but I do. Um, but yeah, ver various cards uh, that I will be uh, thrilled to open. Um, a wide variety of, of cards. Uh, yeah, last year I did a Dragon Ball cards, some WWE trading cards. Um uh, a Transformers game that had come out very recently, but was already over. Uh, some like, uh, what was the weird DC one? Like Blood something? Yeah, like Blood something or other. It was like a DC Bloodlines. It was a DC uh, imprint that never went anywhere. And I believe there were cards for a comic that, or, no, there weren't cards for comic. There were comics that were promised that were promoted that never actually came out for the line because it tanked so hard. Uh, just a bunch of random stuff. movie and TV ones. This one, like I said, I got a lot of sports ones, and I found some some interesting cards. Uh, I had like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and all kinds of different stuff, and I was happy to open them. Uh, in fact, things went so well that I ran out of card packs, so I've gotten uh, almost double the amount that I had last year. So what I had was, I was like, well, I'll, I owe you packs, and then I got more packs to open um, on a separate stream. And then I had one left over that has been in my uh, in my top dresser drawer for an entire year because there was no other reason for me to open it. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I only um, I only duplicated one uh, pack from last year that was like my favorite to open, uh, and I am knowledgeable about that particular topic, so I got that again. And then everything else is different and new. And there's one pack that does have bubble gum in it. It is that old that it has gum in it. And no, there is no amount of money that I will raise where I will eat that gum because then I will have to stop streaming because I won't be able to talk because old gum should not be consumed. Um, maybe, maybe I'm like, ah, oh, if I hit like, I'll, like I'll come up with a milestone during the stream that will be like, I'll eat this off stream or I'll eat this at the very end of the stream. Maybe something like that. But, like, I just know that that's awful to do, and I'm not interested in doing that. I, I just know that, uh, let's see, we need uh, a 1 by 4, a uh, 2 by 3, and a 1 by 1, 1 by 2. Okay. Um, I just know that that is, uh, that that is not fun to eat uh, old gum like that, so I'm going to attempt to not do that. But it is fun to open like a really old pack of cards and then just try to pronounce the names of like baseball players I've never heard of. But yeah, I uh, I went to a card shop and bought old, like I bought, I went to the card shop and I said, hey, I need, um, I said like, I, uh, th this was my lie. Let's, let me know if you think this was a good one. So I went up and said, hi. Um, I have a gag gift for a friend and I want to get them a bunch of old sports card packs that are unopened. And I just want to give them like a bunch of them. It doesn't matter like what year or what they are. Do you have any kind of like grab bag, like, like bundle, like something like that? Uh, because I feel like if I was like, Hey, one pack of playing of like one pack of baseball cards, please. Like, that's not what I want to hear. Anybody wants to add me to ask them and they said yeah we do we got these things and so i bought like i think it was like nine random ass sport cards packs um i don't think any of them are soccer cards i did want to try to find that because i just thought that's cool but didn't get any of that uh and then amazon i found a bunch of stuff reasonably priced on amazon uh, they're slowly arriving the, the event is in April, but I wanted to get it done so I didn't have to worry about it. Also, like, generally I get money back from the government, but, like, 
there's always going to be a chance there's going to be a year where I owe them a bunch of money. I don't think it's going to be fucking 2021 Pat Bear, but it's possible it'll be 2021 Pat Bear. So I was like, well, why don't I spend that money? now so that i'm not worrying about spending that money later so i'm not like oh i owe all this money to the government better buy a bunch of magic cards or whatever dumb bullshit i didn't i did get one pack of magic the gathering cards which are not easy to find like i mean you just go to a store and sell them i'm saying like getting like something fun to open uh is not the easiest thing in the world I know people that could just send me packs of magic cards, uh, but it is a little different. I haven't pulled that. I haven't pulled that sponsorship yet. Someday I will. Someday I'll be like, hey, outfit that I know that deals with a lot of magic cards. Give me a bunch of fucking magic cards that you're gonna open. You're never gonna open. Okay. Ooh, that reminds me. I should try to get. Uh, I have a friend who does uh, social media and marketing for um, a uh, a card shop, and I didn't reach out to them to get me cards to open, which I could have. I could have reached out and said, "Hey, I do this thing. I open these packs. Are you interested in? Like, do you have any like?" The cheapest shit that you wouldn't mind bailing from Seattle to uh, South Carolina, and I'll give you like a mention. Um, uh, I don't know if you have any malls in your area, but I found all sorts of old uh, card game sets at one like general purpose nerd store. Yeah, last week. I mean, that, that's like um, around here, we don't have like that kind of a thing. Like, I haven't been able to find any of that. Like, believe me, I would love to find a local like hobby shop that has model kits the best i could find is there's a old timey place um uh that where i got these sports cards they sell like pinewood derby shit and like very detailed like model ships uh but they don't have like general nerdery or like plastic model kits which is what obviously i would be looking for as well uh because i did try to see if i could find one of those doors um there used to be one and they're still like in like the local like white pages but they don't or yellow pages but they don't exist anymore which is frustrating i want to like shop locally if i can but i should check in with this store uh, my, my friend who does social for them to see if they would like maybe they would be a sponsor of the event you know like that might be something because it is charity and it's cool um and their general nerdery so maybe i would be like hey if you're all looking for like making a charitable and a donation to like a cool place or a cool thing this is a cool thing you could get on board with we'll see uh working on the other arm here and this is the arm that i believe has some movement because his hand has movement but there this hand moves around a bit bit here but can't really do anything with that hand not a lot of movement in this one which is okay and i'm not demanding it anyway let me get into a little topics here let's start off with a light one this is a this is a, a fun thing to chat about with all y'all um i am still kind of full from last night's domino's adventure uh so what had happened was i um I was walking yesterday. It was beautiful. It was like in the mid 60s, like uh, uh, to, to high 60s. Lovely, lovely weather to go out. I was going for a walk and I saw a Domino's, uh, you know, like light thing on a delivery car. And somebody in my neighborhood was getting Domino's. And I looked at that and I was like, oh, yeah, I haven't had Domino's in a long time. And then I was like on my walk still and the car drove by me again. And I was like, Yes, I'm fucking getting Domino's tonight. Like, I guess that's just gonna what's happening for me. Pat Bears is gonna fucking have Domino's tonight. Uh, so I got my usual order, uh, which is, um, of course, uh, sorry, let me just look at the instructions here. I'm getting a reflective light, and it's really annoying sometimes. Uh, that's how Domino's happens. Yes, that is what I tweeted out. Like, that's how it works. Like, 
And then also, I like said that I got Domino's, and then a bunch of multiple people on my Twitter w- replied, "Now I want Domino's because it's like that's what it is." So uh, I've got a medium thin crust bacon and onion. Don't knock until you get it. Try it because the bacon grease gets absorbed by the onion. It's very good. And Domino's pizza is garbage. That's why you want the thin crust because you don't you treat it like a cracker with cheese and marinara and meat and onion on it. And then dip it in ranch or marinara sauce or whatever. I also got cheesy bread because, of course, I'm fucking going to get cheesy bread. Uh, because they're both like, you know, $6 each because you get them together. And it was great. And I had a great time with it. I didn't eat all of it. I saved some of it for lunch today, which is why I'm still technically fucking full uh, of Domino's. Because I ate, you know. Too much Domino's. Large uh, pizza. This is a, a large pizza, pepperoni, bacon, pineapple, extra sauce, $8 carryout. Well, there you go. Everybody's got their order. I just got the order that for me works, right? So I got that and it was great. Um, and that's it. I don't, I don't do it again. I'll get like real pizza in a couple weeks probably and like get a large pie and then have like reheats. Uh, I'll tell you what. Um, I lived in New York without a toaster oven for many years. I fucking miss having a convection toaster oven for reheating pizza. Oh, it's so much fucking better than, obviously the microwave's terrible, but I would do the like steam in your frying pan with a lid trick and it works, but it's not as good. Uh, Because you have to really make sure you get the oil uh, on the pan right, like a nonstick pan. Otherwise, you're going to just burn your, uh, your pizza. Uh, bottom there but it's still good but it's not as good as just throwing it in a toaster oven reheating it up mm, that was good um in general i've been cooking as much as i can i mean i did like i was out on tuesday so i went to arby's because it was time to go to arby's i just hadn't been in a very long time and i was thinking it was time to go to arby's so i went to arby's whatever uh it was great um and then i got like chinese food uh not too long ago uh and i got kfc the night that i streamed in the kitchen because i didn't feel like cooking my dinner and then cooking you know on stream i was like i don't feel like doing that so i went and i just got kfc uh which was great um so I, you know i've still gotten delivery here and there but i'm trying to cook more uh at home as much as i can uh overall me cooking by my or living by myself has been going fine. It's weird. I don't like it. I don't like being completely isolated from people except for like phone calls and chatting online. Um uh I have like I played a D&D session today. That was fun. Uh it was my one shot crew or people in my one shot crew. Uh I I didn't run it. I didn't DM. I was just uh, playing, which was perfectly fine with me. Uh, I do like I do like doing these one shots with folks and jumping in with that. I think it's been very fun. But I do sometimes you just want to play. You just want to like be a player and have somebody take you for a ride and run the game, and you don't have to worry about like that. But these one shots we've been doing, um, mostly either in fiasco. We basically like made. Um, character sheets for 5th edition, but also we do a lot in Fiasco um, because it's just an easy game system for people to run. Uh, And it's just an adventure guild. Just a bunch of people hanging out in the guild hall, um, you know, hanging out, waiting for whatever, like coming back from quests, going on quests. You can... uh, I. uh, Somebody was like, it, we were playing today, and then after we were talking, and it was like, oh, so that, so you, you were telling us about this in the game. Uh, the character was talking about like an adventure. I'm like, who, who ran that? And he was like, oh no, I made it up. I just wanted to have some backstory for my character. And I was like, oh yeah, of course you could do that. Cool. Um, uh, he just wanted to play with his character like with a sore arm because of an adventure he had had. And I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah. It was like, I don't know. It's like, I just wanted to have some flavor. And maybe the uh, GM could use it. And, you know, she didn't. And it was fine. I was like, yeah. Uh, so that was nice. Uh, but it is it is strange to be just like 
by myself. Like like I said, yesterday, I don't think I... I don't know if I said this. I may have said this before the stream started um, in the pre-show. Uh, I didn't really talk to anyone yesterday. Other than, like, myself. Yeah. So that's 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 been weird. That 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 happened last year when my folks went to Florida and I was just here by myself. Um so I do look for excuses to to get on. I had a, a two phone calls today, one personal, one business, and my D and D session, which was fun. Uh business stuff should not affect I always say this and because it I you know it is important. Uh business stuff should not affect anything that I'm doing right now, including um the project that i will be doing on uh uh monday through friday of next week daily dwarf i'm gonna another plug for daily dwarf that is my uh kind of like experiment with doing uh daily streams i'll be streaming monday uh february 7th through friday february 11th from uh 1 p.m till probably 2 p.m every day playing dwarf romantique Daily Dwarf. Uh, it is a way to for me to experiment with doing uh, streams like that, or doing like shorter, just gaming daily streams. It will not affect any of my regular streams. Uh, my normal streaming schedule will be the same. This is just a thing that I can do to try to try something out. Try afternoon streaming, see how that goes. Um, but yeah, this project that I had a meeting today about is all stuff I do on my own. It's not it's not super time sensitive. It is a paid gig uh, that I'm very excited about having. Um, because that would be great. Uh, speaking of paid gigs, I do want to chat about this. Uh, this came up. Um, uh, a friend of mine, he goes by the name of Box Brown. You may know Box uh, from his graphic novel work. Uh, perhaps, perhaps you have seen his incredibly detailed and beautiful, lovely graphic novel about Andre the Giant, the history of Andre the Giant. That is fantastic. Um, he also did a, a, a great graphic novel about Tetris that is worth picking up. Um, and he has done a lot of like advocacy for legal, uh, marijuana in the United States, uh, among other things, uh, he's a prolific, uh, 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 artist and writer um so one of his like freelance consistent gigs that he's been doing for a while has been promotional art for projects for gumroad gumroad is a website where you can have your own store and sell digital goods and then physical goods and just like that's what they do they work on like their big thing is they like to be like people's first time ever selling something like easy enough to set up a store, go here, whatever, you know, like set it stuff, your email, easy, like easy back end, like take the hassle out of it kind of a thing. And uh, box has been doing a lot of work for them. And yesterday he was talking on Twitter about like money going to be a little tough because he was ending a long-term uh, working relationship with, with, with a company because they were, uh, they wanted him to work on a project for an NFT, and he, you know, he had been not interested in doing that. And eventually, he was like, "I think we'd have to part ways because you're interested in going down this road, and I'm very much not interested." He was ambivalent before, but he was certainly, and especially now, 2022, not interested. But also say uh, that this was recurring work that uh, uh, Box had been doing for Gumroad, and Box does have children; he has a family to support. So saying walking away from uh from work, you know, hourly rate work was a tough decision. Um now, some people say it wasn't on him to say this publicly on Twitter to say that uh Gumroad was interested in getting to the NFT game. Uh that that's up to them to announce. That's not true. He doesn't have any uh NDAs with anything. He can say what he wants to say. What happens after that is up to Gumroad. And if you were follow any, not any artists, but if you follow artist communities on Twitter, you may have seen, including me, so I did some retweets, you may have seen people talking a whole lot of shit about Gumroad today. Specifically because the main Gumroad account 
Uh, and then also the like account of the CEO, both on the, that account and his own account, arguing with Box, first denying that they were doing NFTs. Uh, they, they were just like, no, that's not true. Uh, and then for some reason, at some point, they were like, well, you weren't against them before. And then they had like the CEO of this company just like had screen grabs of conversations between him and Box, which also clearly read as somebody who doesn't want to get involved in NFTs, but also doesn't want to lose their job in like 2021 being like, uh, hey, that's not something I really want to work on. If there's other stuff you want me to do, I'm totally cool with doing that, but that's not something I really want to get into. And then when pressed and pressed and pressed, finally was like, okay, well, we need to stop doing this. And then they're like, look, we have no announcements about NFTs. We're just like having the conversations about it, which is all they need to say. But then people were like, this sucks and I'm going to close my store. And then this CEO was like, fuck you for doing that. And then started arguing with people about how, like, you know, about doing that. And then there was a uh, deleted, uh, some, some arguments, that got, stuff got deleted eventually, but people were like, what are you talking about? What are you doing? And then people were like, you know, there'd be retweets of someone saying like, this happened uh, where someone was like, I never used Gumroad before and I never plan on using it now. And then you have the Gumroad Twitter account saying, well, uh, according to the email in your bio, uh, you have, you have used us. So that means that someone, somebody from that, like said, like, oh, we'll see about that. And then went into their database and looked up this person's email address to gotcha them, uh, which is just like petty and depending on where you are in the world, illegal. Um, so that was like bizarre. It was completely out, out of control. Um, now they're like Twitter bio says, uh, this is uh, Gumroad says like, uh, we're not doing anything with NFTs and they're like doing damage control. Um, my, uh, a bigger point I can say, this is a civic thing about like, hey, fuck around and find out. Find out how your communities are going to uh, deal with your uh, your interest in NFTs if you are just interested in making money. It's very clear that they were hoping to do something with NFTs, uh, either uh, allow people to to sell them through this thing or making their own like Gumroad NFTs or whatever the fuck they were looking to do, but they didn't want to get the heat for it. Um, my big advice is uh, if you are having issues with a, a, a freelancer, uh, before you start like arguing with them and dragging them on Twitter, just like make sure they're not like beloved in their community. Because Box is. Box rules uh, is very well liked. Like, that uh, that Andre graphic novel, I recommend. That is the thing you get somebody that, like, is vaguely into comics and, like, vaguely into wrestling. Like, that's a top seller for, like, the person who's like, I'm at this comic book shop for, like, a gift and I don't know what to get. And you could be like, oh, do you like this? Well, maybe that one. And if you go like, uh, well, does the person like wrestling? Because there's this beautiful graphic novel about Andre the Giant. And it's just like, and people are just like, yeah, I'm going to get that. It's like such an easy sell to people because it looks beautiful and is really good. Um, so it's just like, yeah, maybe, maybe don't go after somebody like that. Like, maybe just be cool. Um, Jam, uh, uh, I, I don't remember the exact name, but I'm going to find out for you right now. Also, hi, Jam. Uh, somebody just looked up boxes uh shit there um uh, also box's first name is brian or, or sorry so i don't know because because there's henry box brown um which is a uh which is like uh a real person that existed um and brian also exists but that was a person from history this is brian box brown um uh and i gotta look up andre the giant life and legend 
which is from 2014. Um, I highly recommend. Um, also, uh, I should say, very good, uh, Is This Guy For Real, which is the, uh, the uh, Andy Kaufman story. Is This Guy For Real is also really good. Uh, and I uh, w- should have mentioned that. Um, but yeah, um, the comic that is very good is called Under the Giant Life and Legend. Um, yeah, he's just great. Uh, yeah, he won an Eisner Award for, uh, for Is This Guy For Real? Um, yeah. You mean people who promote NFTs may act irrationally? Yes, Aristophan. Also, hi, Aristophan. Happy to have you and Jam here. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that, like, I, I think I said this on Thursday, unrelated to this, but in relation to, like, somebody else, like, Look, it's 2022. You got to have a game plan for when your shit gets called out. Because maybe you, like, the big thing is, right? All you do is you say, we were exploring NFTs. We don't have any announcements to make about that. We know how this is a hot topic with people. So we're going to, if we end up going down that road, we'll let you know and we'll do it the right way. That's bullshit, right? What I just said, um, uh, is like complete and utter bullshit. A thousand times better than what they said. Uh, yes, H.O. put out some tweets around this time. Uh, this stream started saying "fuck NFTs" and put on blast anyone who says they support creators and also endorse NFTs. Yes, so uh, a lot of people were talking shit about Gumroad and basically. Uh, Ko-Fi or Coffee found out about this because a lot of people were tweeting like, I'm leaving Gumroad, I'm going to Coffee. Here's my coffee. And then so Coffee was like, hey, we've said this before, but just to be clear, uh, no friggin' thanks is ours a response to NFTs. Uh, uh, also, yeah. So like I was like, and Itch basically is just like, uh, also a thing about Gumroad is they took down some explicit material even though they had nothing about that violating their policies at the time and they had to retroactively put in those policies uh but you could put whatever the fuck you want on itch it just doesn't give a fuck and it doesn't want to get involved in nfts um but uh but yeah i mean like you have to know what these things are like if if if, if something you did or didn't do is coming out uh you can't talk about lawyers. You can't talk about like, uh, uh, you know, like you you can't talk about like how you're gonna you know get, take care of this and people are putting liable and whatever. Like, look, even if people are calling you out and they are off base and you did nothing wrong, you have to say dumb shit like, "We've listened to our community, and we are pausing." Uh, uh, any project that could jeopardize our standing with the people that we care about most creators in like the people that are, and then the nickname that you, the terrible nickname you use for your community. You just do that shit. You just got to do that shit. You should have anybody that's interested in getting an NFTs should have that document already written somewhere in like a Google doc that like is ready to go when inevitably someone's just like, Hey, what the fuck? Like, you have to do that because people are not ready to be cool with this shit. Um, also, fun fact, uh, uh, the Creative Arts Agency, CAA, one of the biggest talent agencies uh, in the United States that deals with, uh, it takes care of a lot of celebrities. Um, it's so weird. Lots of celebrities who have been on like Jimmy Fallon and uh, in other late night shows and also tweeted about bored apes. It's so weird that they're all CAA represented and CAA is also working on NFT uh, crypto marketplaces. They're not investing in they're not investing in like their own NFTs. They're investing in like marketplaces for NFTs. Weird. So weird. not weird so if you were wondering why random ass celebrities were happy to be selling uh 
and like not their own nft project or their own nfts on there but like other that they were buying nfts that that's one of the reasons why that might not be the only reason why but it's one of the reasons why um uh, I will be streaming until 11 p.m. Eastern, so about another hour. So if you want to go have a smoke, go have a smoke. Um, but yeah, I got, I'm got. i going to be here about another hour. Uh, we're going to take a pause for the cause in a couple minutes. We'll talk about ways people can support the channel, yada, 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 all that stuff. Uh, yeah, take your time. As always, folks, come and go as you please. Uh, if, you're t- if you're taking off, you're always cool to say good night. We like that. But you also don't have to worry about that stuff uh but it is nice having you all here um also uh kotaku is reporting um that apparently uh google is having plans to completely shutter stadia which is not a surprise this is the part where i make the joke stadia is still a thing (laughs) it is people still use it but it looks like that that is going to be uh sunsetted uh in the near future according to a report on kotaku Again, always take those reports with a grain of salt, but their sources are, are pretty solid for that stuff. And also, it is a believable story that Google is like, oh, wait, we have that thing still? Huh. Uh, so sucks for the people that bought full games for the Stadia service. Don't know what that happened, what that means to them. What it'll mean to them. But um, I had Stadia for a couple months because uh, I have YouTube Premium. I pay a monthly fee on YouTube to not see ads um, uh, and to have Google Music, which now just became YouTube Music, which is still great and fine because I didn't want Spotify. Um, uh, Aristvan says all 12 of them. Last week says, got to go dig up that dude who tried to clap back to Alex on Twitter about how Stadia is doing better than GV. I mean, that dude got clapped back himself um, because he made it seem like he was a... He, his Twitter bio made it sound like he was like a high-ranking producer at Google or a, a, at Stadia, but he was just a producer at a studio that had a game at Stadia and Google at Stadia. It's and he just didn't. He made it seem like he was a big deal, and people were like, "Who's this dude?" And they were like, "Oh wait, this dude is no dude. This is, this dude's nothing. What the fuck?" Um, which was very funny. Uh, so he already had gotten clapped back. Uh, I uh, I just got one when they were twenty dollars for just another PC controller. Yeah, Jam. I have that other PC controller. Um, so here's the thing: I got mine for free because I have a YouTube Premium, and they were doing a deal where they sent it out to people. Um, and so I had three months free and uh, a uh, uh, the Chromecast. So you know what I use that for? Watching YouTube videos on a television in my bedroom because my computer is out here. So for like a month and a half a year, I just like, at the end of the night, basically my my closing night is that, oh yes, I thought about doing it for the Chromecast Ultra, but never did. Yeah, so I have a Chromecast Ultra for free. I got a free Chromecast. So at the end of the night, when I'm done computer, but I'm not ready to go to bed, I go into the bedroom. Sometimes I read, but often what I'll do is on my phone, I will uh, uh, take control of my Chromecast and watch a YouTube video uh, or two just there and then I just like scroll on my phone before I go to bed and that's like me relaxing because generally I would just do that uh, at the end of the night when my computer is in my bedroom I will just like put on one of the monitors a full screen YouTube video and then just crawl into bed um, so this way I just do that and that is like the most I have ever used uh, the Chromecast um, it's nice to have but I don't really use it for anything um, and yeah, I don't have a computer in that room, so that's just me using that. So that way I'm not watching stuff on my phone, because that doesn't feel as fun. Uh, but yeah, that is the most... Like Stadia, I never paid for anything on Stadia. I played a couple free things, and it was fine, like on the TV, using it with the controller. And I was like, this is... Okay. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I have a computer right here I could just use. I don't know why I would need this. So I never really used it for anything. Uh, the Chromecast is great, though. Free Chromecast. I mean, obviously, I pay for YouTube Premium, so... Uh, I never got rid of it. This is the pro- This was the problem. Like, So I have YouTube Premium so that I don't see ads when I'm logged in with my Gmail account on YouTube.com. Uh, and I did that as a work-related reason, and it was a great reason for work. That way I never saw ads at any computer I was logged into. 
uh, and that was very nice to have. But I don't work in theaters right now. But also, I used Google Music, and it was included with that. And now it's YouTube Music. I still use YouTube Music, so I'm paying for YouTube Music, and that means I don't have a Spotify account. And, you know, that's good. I'm happy about that. Uh, all right, so now we're going to plug this in here. Hey, here's our arm. This arm also doesn't really move, but the hand moves. We've got two arms and two hands. All we have left is the head, which is uh, part of bag seven and then bag eight, which is this bag here. Uh, so we're, we're on our way. And then there's also like a little stand that this sticker goes on. Um, and then also on that, even though we built it in the first bag, we got a tiny dial right here. See, I'm already done. Boom. Put that like right here. I'm done with it. Done with the kit. There it is. <laughs> Little friend right there. Um, yeah, so we're, we're on our way here. I don't think we're going to finish this tonight, but we'll finish it on Monday. Uh, can he hold himself? Uh, yeah, we could do that. Well, not, I mean, not with like, we could put him on the palm there. There's an orb that we're getting, but yeah, we can do that. Have, have our friends sit there. Uh, this life-size jam, I, I don't actually know. Um, I don't know the dimensions of the child, if this is a life-size, if this is a one-to-one -one scale. But yes, uh, we can hold in the palm of our hand our, our, uh, our little baby Yoda. There, can hold the Yoda, so we'll do that. Dude, that's silly. Also, there's no legs on this kit. Woo! Which is fine. But we do get the fun colored pieces that you won't see. Always fun. I always like that. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll start working on uh, what is bag a a seven, which is the head, most of the head. And then bag eight is like the rest of the kit, I guess. Um, finally, we'll get into some more green pieces because we really only had the green of the hands. Uh, first things first, though, because uh, we're going to get back into it, we've got to take a pause for the cause, talk about ways you can support the channel, and then we'll get into uh, to more Lego and talk about some, some manga and some anime. Um, so first things first, if you're currently a subscriber, you can throw the Bear Cave, the Lego, the Scythe the Moat in the chat, let the people know. We are currently at 44 out of 50 subscribers. would love to get to 50 subscribers. If we don't get to 50 subscribers, that's okay. But I, I would like that. That would be nice. That's the goal. You know, we get to 50 and then I don't talk about how we're, you know, how many subscribers I have until we drop down again. Um, uh, you can join the gift sub leaderboard. Uh, if you give sub somebody in the community, uh, if you've been gifted a sub, you can convert that to regular subscription. They won't charge you until your gift sub has concluded. Um, you can use cash money. You can use your Prime Gaming token. Uh, uh, if you have Amazon Prime link to your Twitch. Um, uh, reminder, if you want to re resub or sub, you don't have to hit that notification button. We don't have to see who you are and shout you out. I would love to shout you out. I always do, uh, give a shout out to people that, that do that. But, uh, if you don't, if you want, if you don't be a non, you be a non with it. Um, and bits and coins always appreciate it. If you want to join that, uh, leaderboard there, you could do that. Uh, what do I want to put in here? Uh, also I have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Pat Bear. There are different rewards different tiers there if you'd rather do a monthly there than here if you're new to the stream i'm going to be talking about ways you can support the channel for a couple minutes then we're going to get back into building we're going to talk about some manga and some anime including a, a manga that i'm excited to talk about that i've been waiting for enough chapters to feel like i could actually talk about it um but uh mostly i, I just got to tell you ways you can support the channel because this is like my ad reads uh but it won't take too long uh, but like i said i got patreon uh i have a youtube channel youtube.com slash pat bear now, obviously, subscribing to my YouTube is free, but there's memberships you could join there, and that's uh, $2 a month, uh, and you get my Wednesday video on Tuesday. I put on a new video every Wednesday, and you get that a day early. Um, other ways to support what I do through that, uh, direct donations. Um, if monthly does not work out for you, but a one-time thing will be something you're interested in doing, there are two ways to do that, directly through my PayPal or through coffee. I got a Ko-Fi. Um, Everything I make through direct donations, through Patreon, through YouTube, through Twitch, goes to buying model kits and equipment. I don't know what I'm building next, uh, but I have a, a few things from my backlog uh, that will be options for people to pick something for me to build from. 
Uh, and those kits that I've bought, that money comes from y'all. Uh, it goes a long way for equipment and that. Uh, everything I make goes into a fund and that goes into me directly uh, purchasing stuff. Um, uh, now, the way to get around that, if you want to see me build a particular kit that isn't something in my wish, that is my backlog, I should say, then you can get in on my wish list. You, uh, you could buy something from my Amazon wish list. It'll come to me. I'll shoot a separate video about it. Um, and then I will um, build it beforehand. It jumps the queue. So if you're like, oh, I really want you to build this, you can buy it. And then when I get it, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll build it on stream early. Uh, I got a couple pre-orders in there, like the Kirby entry grade um, and the uh, Bandai 30-minute mission, uh, um, which I've never built a 30-minute mission. One of those is pre-ordered in there. Uh, yeah, a couple things. And then the um, uh, a high grade, the Dagger L uh, from Gundam Seed Destiny is in there as a pre-order. Um, I've got Lego sets, I've got model kits, high grades, master grades, inexpensive kits, very expensive kits, stuff that's just too, too pricey. Um, uh, a couple pieces of equipment. Um, I ended up buying the HDMI cable that I needed, so I took that off the list because I was sick of having an HDMI cable that was just like a little too short and it was really, really annoying. So I got one that's very, that's long, uh, it's too long. But I also saw this, a friend of mine posted this. Uh, my friend uh, uh, Terrence posted a on-air sign, a remote-controlled on-air sign that I would, if if you wanted to buy this $35 item, which don't, but you could, it would go behind me, like, over here, and then, like, I would turn it on when I went live, and that's not, I don't need that, but you, there should be a few things on my wish list that are just silly, and that's a silly thing to put on the wish list. If you want, if you're like, I got some money, but I don't want to buy a model kit. I don't know why you would do that, but whatever. Um, I put that in. That's a new thing. I like to talk about the new stuff when that comes in. Uh, also, USA Gundam Store. Uh, alternatively, you could buy a gift card from there. You get in your email, and then you send me uh, the gift card code, and I, uh, I'll, I'll use it and buy something from there. That's a, that's an alternative to Amazon. It's nice to have alternatives. Um, what else? What else? Oh, if you want to support me uh, with, uh, uh, but you can't spend any money or you don't want to spend any money, join my Discord. My Discord is lovely. Lots of great folks over there. Uh, I post build photos at the end of every stream. People post stuff they're working on. It's a great little community. Join my Discord. Uh, sorry, the nightbot is a little delayed here, uh, folks that are watching. If you're watching later on YouTube, what's up, YouTube? You can find all this in the show description. Uh, a couple links, Giant Bomb top 10 list. I did a top 10 list for Giant Bomb, but it's about anime, not video games, because they let me, they still let me do that, which is wild. Uh, the video version of that is from Pat Bear's Anime Club. If you want to see me uh, talk about, uh, instead of uh, read about my, the anime I liked, you want to uh, watch the video about it, you can do that. And Do You Remember is an ongoing video series where I find something on the internet that I'm, uh, I read an article about it, and then I do my best to remember as much as I can about it and present that uh, to all of you. Uh, this episode of Do You Remember is about a 19-year-old that circumnavigated the globe, which is fucking wild. Uh, Zara seems cool as hell, and I talked about her. Uh, so check that shit out. 19-year-old circumnavigating the globe in a solo flight. Ridiculous. What the fuck? Uh, so that was that was fun to talk about. That was a that, and that also like literally like just happened uh, in January of this year. So that's all of the links. Uh, we're gonna talk about some anime and some manga. So let me get my manga thing set up for here. Uh, and then I'm gonna drink a little water, and then we're gonna talk about some manga and some anime. Get that ready to go. And of course, we will dramatically transition. We dramatically transition. Hello, welcome. We're going to talk about some manga. Oh, Lego research complete. That's Aristophan. Aristophan did some Lego research. Before we get into manga talk, let's get into. Uh, stuff that Aristophan wrote down, and then we'll we'll uh, while we get into so Lego research complete. The Lego of the child uh, is seven uh, five inches, 
uh, which is the internet reports the child is 16 inches, so the Lego is approximately half length of the actual child. So it is not a one-to-one -one scale, which is okay. That, that's great. Thank you very much for that research, Mr. Fan. I genuinely appreciate it. Thank you for looking out. Uh, let's talk about manga. Oh, well, I burp. Pardon me. Uh, let's talk about one particular manga, which is a former hero returning from another world gets involved in a death game. Right now, there are only five chapters this out, but I felt like five chapters was enough to talk about it. Holy shit, I love this premise. It is an easy to understand premise. A former hero returning from another world gets involved in a death game. So, uh, our hero uh, was just a dude, got summoned to another world, did what he needed to do for that world, uh, defeated you know the demons, the demon lord, saved the world. The goddess was just like, are you sure you want to go back? You could stay here. What about all the people you met here? And it's just like, no, I told you. I only did that. I did this stuff because you said that I would go back to my friends and family and very little time would have changed there. And it's true. He comes back in the same body. And as far as he knows, everything is fine. He, you know, he feels a little different. Like he hugs his sister and she's like, what? Because it's been a long time since he saw her. And he's just like, okay, I'm going back to my normal life. Also, he was like, I, I do appreciate it. Because, uh, you know, somebody asked the other day uh, on Twitter, uh, does anybody that gets summoned ever, like, fucking hate it? Uh, and he did. He was like, the low-level monsters here could kill me. Everything's, it, everything is hard here. There's no electricity. I want to go back. Um, so she goes back. He doesn't have his powers, as far as he knows. Like, okay, well, that sucks. Anyway, he goes on a school trip, and he's psyched about it. There's, like... A new student who seems kind of cagey and that's weird, but he's there with his friends and he's happy to be there and he's looking forward to his school trip. And then everyone passes out because they've all been gassed. Uh, now, what does this fucking mean? Uh, we don't know yet. Well, we know because we understand uh, the title of the manga, which is a death game. They've all, it's basically Battle Royale. They've all been kidnapped to an island. They all have death collars on them. Uh, you know, somebody threatens them, is going to shoot one of them, so they all learn. We find out very early the new student is returned. They brought back this guy. He survived the death game. Uh, and so he knows that, like, he's back and this is fucked. He's got to do this again, you know, but he knows how it's going to go. Um, and one of them is very calm about what's happening here, and that's our main character, because, hey, guess what? His magic works. So he can remove all the collars and store them in storage. And he can survive being shot in the head. And he can teleport around. Does he summon a dragon at one point to off-screen? We don't see the dragon do this. We just see the dragon destroy uh some sort of ship with a weapon on it yes um this dude is just like i'm gonna punish these people this is gonna go this is gonna turn out fine uh you know it's like oh they have their teacher guess what i teleported there knocked all those people out brought them back here no problems not worried about it uh you know everything's gonna work out pretty good um so I love the premise of this, right? I absolutely, totally, 100% love, 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 love the premise of this story. The actual execution, I'm not thrilled about. Like, I, I do like that everyone's like, genuinely, like, his classmates are like, what's going on? You can use magic, huh? What's fucking happening? And I appreciate that they're not just like, like, there is a thing of like, hey, he saved our lives. Like, I know he's different now, but like, what do you want? He just saved everybody here. Like, he's still, you know, he's still our friend. He's still our classmate. Um, and I'm imagining there's like, there's two ways to go about this, right? This dude's overpowered, has no trouble with anything, is going to save the day. No, There's nothing to worry about. Or there could be 
some other reasons why he can use magic in there. It's going to evolve into something else. There's like, I'm sorry, I'm looking for not the inverse of these. I have a lot of green here to find. And so I am looking for the basically like this thing like that, but not, not there. Uh, so let me find those. That's going to take a little while here. There we go. Got them right over here. A lot of green here to sort through. Sorry. So um, right now everything's very easy and I don't know if anything is ever going to be hard. Uh, and I do think that the story could like take a little longer. I don't know. There have been a few uh, manga out there that have told the story of somebody like returning and we don't see like the early stuff we see the return there's one about like a sega fan like the, the premise is that like he was in this like world and he came back but he aged it wasn't like time stood and like the world has changed and sega isn't like in the console business anymore he was oh, like a sega fan at the time so now he's like oh but it, it's really like it's not him even though he is back in that world it's him telling stories of uh, the premise of that one is wild because uh, even though he looks like a normal dude in that world, he's considered ugly. So everyone thinks he's an orc. Uh, and so his life is just pretty hard over there. Uh, that one is kind of a fun premise. Uh, this one is like, this one is just like, uh, you know, he's a returner and things are pretty easy for him. He hasn't run any problems. I don't, I don't know. I don't think this one like has legs. I feel like it should probably not be like a very long manga. I'm reading it. Like I said, I'm interested in it. Um, I've got a few stories that I'm keeping an eye on. I'm trying to get to like, I feel like five chapters is enough. Um, the one that I, I know I'm going to be reading soon, uh, or I'm reading and I'm waiting for like them to be enough chapters, is um, uh, Shoha Shoten, which is on Manga Plus. And so I want to I wanna wait for them to be enough of that. It's uh, two young people that, two young dudes that want to get into comedy for different reasons. One is like fulfilling somebody, somebody's dream, somebody else's dream, and the other is just like always want to make people laugh. Um, uh, there's the whole thing about like a girl who he's like trying to get funny enough to make her laugh to like help her out, uh, which I think is like a fun reason to get into comedy. But it's like, it's a detailed look at like the science behind comedy uh and I, I love that idea but i'm waiting for more chapters of that so i can talk about it like fully um let's see uh what other ones are i looking at uh i'm a d-list adventurer and for some reason i got recruited into a hero party and now the princess is stalking me this is a this is like a dude that in his very young youth uh wanted to be a hero and when he realized that once you're like once you defeat the demon lord, you still got to work hard, quit. But he like raised a generation of the next generation of young people. Like he touched a lot of their lives. I think I'm almost ready to talk about that. Uh, I think almost enough chapters of that have come out that I can talk about that. Um, Frontier Alchemist. I can't go back to that job after you made my budget zero. Uh, that's just like a fun premise. I mean, those, those premises have a lot. The like person who's really good at a thing uh is is treated poorly and then eventually like leaves that and er and the, and everyone is like wait you're awesome what um the uh yeah i'm a uh... saying a black knight or our uh or black kite we're almost ready for that i'm almost ready to talk about that one there's just like a bunch of stuff that i have like this looks fun, but like I don't have enough chapters of it to, to like, you know, talk about yet. But I got a bunch of those like, almost have enough chapters. Uh, all right, let's talk about some anime here while I work on this, and we'll, we'll try to make some progress on this kit here. Uh, working on the head. Let's see. I need these there, and I need right here. Great. Uh, slow loop. We're getting into some drama here. Still really liking this. This is like, this is our girls into a thing show this season. Uh, and it's a good one of those. Um, it's not like incredible, but it's so it's solid as hell. And I've been enjoying watching it. So I would say like right now I can say like Slow Loop is, is solid. It is like cute and fun. Um, 
I, I've been enjoying it. Uh, haven't gone back to read the manga or anything, but I am certainly considering it because I'm having a good time uh, with, with it. Um, Strongest Sage with Lucas Crest continues to just be like, oh boy, if you need an overpowered main character just like not running into a lot of problems and you want their supports characters to be cute and one of them to be like a fun dragon girl who is now posing as a human but she's a dragon and she's having she's just out iris is just having a, a tough time of like being in that body it's been a long time she's in that body of just like she's like i don't know a lot about being a human but like fine and is one of the reasons why she's sticking around because maddie is looking for her to transport into a dragon yes uh, are there more issues coming up now? They just defeated a bunch of demons, but they're going to have more issues with some stuff happening. Yeah, there's more shit coming that we'll have to deal with that Maddie will easily fucking solve because he is, of course, incredibly strong. Like, he's not even, like, as strong as he used to be, but the world is that he w woke up in is really weak. So he's not running into any fucking problems. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for like an overpowered main character, like not worried about shit with like a fun enough supporting cast, I like it that like one girl is good at, 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 at like enchanting uh, and endowing magic on objects and the other girl is an archer. So one girl makes like bows with different magic attributes and then hands it to the girl who is the archer uh, because the girl who's an archer like was raised in a uh, uh, in a family of uh, uh, swords and uh, sword users uh, uh swordsmen and women and was just like oh i don't like no you could just be a magic archer you're way more qualified for that um which i don't I, I just like i like the vibes the vibes are good in that one um it's like enjoyable to to watch very light very easy um like i said there's some drama and slow loop but it's still really solid this one there's there's no drama. It is just an easy, easy, easy watch. Easy to check out. Lots of good highlights of just like overpowered main character getting shit done. Um, let's see, what else? Our realist hero rebuilt the kingdom part two. We are now past the point of the manga that I have read, and that has been fine. Uh I don't I, I have never really loved this other princess uh that we have that we're dealing with here. Um, the, the romance element has really been bumped up with like the, like girls that are currently interested in him and are engaged to him dealing with the other women that have been introduced in this part of the season. Uh, and I think we're like, I'd like a little bit more problem solving and a little less like, what am I going to do about all these ladies that want to be with me? Um, cause that's not the strong suit of it. The moments are fun, but like in general, it's not like as solid as I would like, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, like I know, we, like he just ends up with a bunch of engage, you know, like, engage. He's just engaged a bunch of people. Hey, Lord Crashton, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here, my friend. Uh, all right, so all right, now these go on here. Um, we we got some hands here. Oops. Oh no. Yeah. What's going on there? Uh, we got some hands here on uh, on the child, uh, and we are currently working on the head. Uh, again, do not believe we will finish this tonight, but I think we're going to finish this on Monday. Uh, I sell a little green. Yes, we do have green hands on here, and now we're working on. I don't know what this is. You know, this is going to be most of the head here, um, from the internals, uh, and then I do think I because we have bag eight. But bag eight isn't like a lot of pieces. I think we're gonna finish this by the end of Monday, and we'll at the end of Monday we'll like start the next thing. So I will tomorrow send out a uh, uh, a poll to my ten dollar patrons because uh, they, my ten dollar patrons vote I want to work on because I don't have anything coming from my wish list. So I'll put up a poll. It'll have like all high grades because that's all I got right now is high grades, but it'll have like uh, a premium Bandai kit and then like probably the two kits i have uh from or two like the two or three kits i have from breaker battle log because i would like to finish gundam breaker battle log at some point uh finish building all of those so that i can do either a stream or a video it'll probably be a youtube video where i like 
take each of them and like build the uh, kit bashes they recommend because I think it's going to take too long to do it like live. So I will probably do that as a uh, a video um, from my main channel and just like, hey, it's me kit bashing these together uh, as instructed. Um, so I would like to finish building all those breaker battle log kits because uh, I have the last one that I didn't know would come in the mail. And I believe I have, yeah, like three that I haven't built yet. Although the one that's coming in the mail, I don't think I'll have by Monday. So probably have to wait on it. Whatever. Anyway, now it's the part of the stream where we're talking about what y'all are into. What are you building? What are you playing? Are you building any model kits? Are you watching anything? Playing any video games? Watching anything on the television? You can let me know in the in the chat and I will, of course, read and respond to everything. Unless it's, you know, something that I don't have any input on. Or, you know, can't really respond to it. I don't I don't know why that would happen, but it's possible. So you'll be like, I'm doing this thing. And I'll just be like, I don't know what that means. It'd be very strange if that was the case. All right, we'll get our pieces together here and then build whatever this thing is. Uh, but yeah, um, for me, just playing Hearthstone. Had a good day at Hearthstone today. Got a bunch of wins in. Always nice to get a bunch of wins in. Um, uh, getting the ranks of uh, gold right now, which is okay for me uh, in standard. Um, but yeah, just, just played some Hearthstone, had a good time with that. Um, have not gone back to Paparazzi. I am waiting uh, uh, to pick up where I left off in my save of Paparazzi uh, in case it wins the poll for my patrons of what they want me to see, what they want me to do for not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. This Wednesday stream. Uh, which is the ninth, uh, they're gonna uh, Crunchyroll will announce who won the uh, the Crunchyroll uh, the anime awards, and so I'm gonna stream, and that'll be my next Peppers Anime Club video. Will be me uh, reacting to that, and I'm gonna do it as a stream because uh, I thought that would be kind of fun. I like doing those. So the following Wednesday will be uh, me playing whatever people want me to play on uh, on. Um, on stream so i was like oh i should have in case people are like definitely want me to play paparazzi i want to have like that as an option because i really like i like playing that um last week says saw clips of someone playing through revengeance for the first time and really made me want to replay that so instead of i'm playing bayonetta 2 a game i barely touched i have a chain shop nice i i could I guess I could re-download Revengeance and play some fucking Revengeance. I liked Revengeance a lot. Maybe I would, like, load up Cheat Engine and, and play Revengeance with Cheat Engine stuff on. Because I'm sure that there's, like, some tables I could download of that really easily. Uh, I haven't used Cheat Engine in a while either. But I wouldn't mind cheating my way through Revengeance. That would be, I think, pretty fucking fun. That game is wild and silly. But why would I want to, like, make it difficult for myself when I could just load up a uh, cheat engine? Um, I, I might fucking do that uh, now that I think about it. Uh, Lord Crashton says, I've been jumping back into Horizon Zero Dawn to try to beat it before the new one comes out. I can tell I've done a ton of side stuff since I'm level 34 and the main story quests are around level 18. Yes, that sounds like you did a lot of fucking side story shit uh, if you are so overleveled. Uh, at least the levels in this game don't improve your stats very much, so I'm not really OP. No, it it probably isn't that you, like, power leveled. It's just that you played a bunch of it, and you leveled accordingly. But yeah, uh, I, I only played a very limited amount of that game, but from what I remember, uh, yeah, it wasn't, like, as stat-based as, uh, as some other things. Ooh, I missed a piece. I did, I missed a piece. Uh... Oh, wait. Where did that go? That goes on here. That goes there. Did miss a piece on this side. I noticed it because it is, you know, symmetrical, you know, with this one. So put that there. Got to make sure I do do it right this time. Don't want to fuck things up. Uh, but yeah, that sounds fun. Uh, I like jumping back into old games or finishing things up for the, the next one. Um, I was kind of jealous of uh, Fobwash Curry Prep and found out there's a new Japanese grocery store near me, and I might go check that out tomorrow. Hell yeah. I mean, obviously support local businesses, but also 
when you see people making food and stuff like that, yeah, that sometimes it's just time to go do that yourself. Sometimes you just got to look at that and go, I want that. I want to make that. Like, and, you know, and, and go for it. Um, well, good luck to you. Uh, Lord Crash says, I, I put most of my skill points into being able to hoard more materials. Okay. Going, going, going for the hoarding. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, I want to, uh, you know, oops, uh, talked about that before, but, uh, I, I do want to finish Paparazzi. I want to go to the spaceship because I want to know if that's just like actually going to the moon or if it's just, don't tell me if it is, uh, or if it's just like an area that is around a space station. Uh, but I want to go back there and there's more probably in the, uh, the park that we can go to, not the fun park, but the like national park that we can go to. We still have been taking a photo of a dog with hearts over it near a bird. We got to do that. So... I don't think I'm going to, like, look up ways to do it, but I might, like, go and do a playthrough. I technically beat the game today. It, it does a fun thing. Nice, Lord Crash. I do want to see the fun thing. I, I, so I, I would... I do think that I am going to stream that again. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to be, like, because it'll win that or I'll just do it on my own. But I do want to do uh, another stream of Paparazzi because it was really fun. We didn't get a big turnout for that stream, but that's okay because I haven't had big turnouts for anything this month. Uh, including fucking cooking at the end of January. Still a little mad that we didn't get a bigger turnout for that, but I understand. Um, but yeah, it's like, I was hoping more people were going to tune in for that because it was a really fun stream. Uh, I got stuck in that bird and dog request, but luckily the game just gives you a new set of requests when you come back to that area. That's nice. Yeah, so if you, you know, if you just like, need to just get a bunch more done, you can just get a bunch more done. Yeah, that's good to know. Because I do want to get more of those quests completed uh yeah i just could not get that bird uh i really wanted to get that to work it just didn't we had a dog right there and an arts right there but it didn't count i don't think it was close enough to that bird and i don't know how you get a dog close enough to that bird because once you get hearts on it the dog wants to chase you so i don't know i want to get right up on you luckily the birds don't run away but still all right so we put that on there then do oh this goes a layer on top of that so that goes like this yeah okay layer on top this layer looked weird for some reason but i think i understand what it wants me to do now um but yeah if anybody else is playing anything watching anything doing anything cool they're into i like it's more of a sandbox so you will get enough bonks and subscribers to get everything if you put it on the time yeah i mean i don't know what i didn't I'm hoping when I go back into the game and I click uh, confirm, I just get access to the last thing because I hit enough followers, but it wouldn't let me click on it. So I'm hoping that it will when I go back. Otherwise, I'll I'll probably play around and try to unlock that. Um, but yeah, I had a good time doing that. But yeah, if anybody else is doing anything um, uh, that you want to chat about, you're watching anything, um, I'm watching some of the catheter Ray dude. Um, he looks at lots of old tech. And he seems like a pleasant enough person with a lot of knowledge about old tech. Uh, it's a, he's a lot of like stuff I watch right before I go to bed. Um, I didn't know, I've never heard of him and didn't know anything about him, except that he has a GoFundMe that has raised enough money because he needs help because uh, he is the breadwinner for his family and works full time and does the YouTube, um, but also just like needs to spend a fucking lot of money on plumbing shit um and, and got the money he needs which is great but that was like people retweeting him and i was just like who's this dude well he has a lot of youtube videos about old cameras like old video cameras all right i'll look at this uh and he seems like a pleasant enough person i'm watching some of his videos uh also i'm watching a canadian whose name i can't remember i can't remember his youtube channel name uh but i'm watching a, a canadian uh who makes a lot of projects on his property. He does a lot of like woodworking, like build a glass house, like cabin or build like a, uh, yeah, for like with like old wood and like recycled materials. And I don't know, he seems fine. Got a lot of tips. I'm never going to do any of that stuff, but it was, you know, pleasant enough to watch. Um, But yeah, I don't have any like, 
this is the game I'm going to be buying that I'm really psyched for. I don't have any games that I'm like, I can't wait for this video game to come out right now. Uh, other than Tunic. Tunic is the next thing. Obviously, I'm going to play Tunic. Am I going to play Tunic on stream? I don't know. I might. Tunic might just be for me. It might not be a thing I play on stream, but I obviously cannot wait for Tunic. But I don't want to play Dead Island, like Dying Light or whatever. Not Dead Island. Dying Light 2 or whatever. Like, I don't have any issue in, I don't have any interest in that. Uh, I don't, yeah, none of, none of that is interesting to me. But I would like to play some games that I am into. Probably get a mini expansion from Hearthstone at some point. The, the big expansion that came, came pretty late in the, uh, you know, pretty recently, but was pretty late. So I'm expecting the mini set to be soon. I'm saving up my gold for that. Uh, I got uh, SIFU, uh, SIFU and Ali Ali World pre-ordered uh, for this week. Uh, and you're getting early access to one uh, starting tomorrow. Nice. Yeah. Um, I didn't love Ali Ali. I love I love that Ali Ali exists. I'm so psyched that Ali Ali is a video game that did well and they made another one and then they're making this one. I'm so psyched for them. I don't want to play. I'm happy it exists. I'm happy that people really fucking like it. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that game. Uh, it just didn't do anything for me. So I'm not, like, knocking down doors to, to play that. But I hope it fucking rules, and I hope we have a great time with it. Love those two games, and World seems more of that. Yeah, I mean, World seems cool as hell. I just, like, know for me that it's not something that I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, more Ali Ali. Like, it doesn't just doesn't do it for me. But that is not a knock against it. It's that's about me and what I'm into at the moment, which is not that. Because um, I've never been super into skateboarding games. I, I've liked some Tony Hawks. Uh, I mean, but it's never been like, this is my jam. This is my shit. It's just never been my shit or my jam. Uh, indies doing what Activision couldn't or wouldn't do. I mean, yeah, you know, different scales, different budgets, different interests. Um, but yeah, you know, yeah, because we got Skatebird as well, which I know some people really love. Uh, but yeah, you know, diff different, different games for different players and different peoples. These just came all. Did that just? Not, did I just knock these all? Yes, I did. These were on here and then got knocked off by me, and I was like, I think I just knocked the pieces off. And I did. I pressed too hard and it skidded away from me. I'm not going to leave this on the table anymore. I'm going to build it like this because it will be less of a chance of me knocking things over and knocking parts off. I'm holding it in my hand instead of having it just on the table. Uh, my current table, I will let you know, folks, does not love the three monitor stands. Like, it is wobbly here now. I've put more... Putting a third monitor and this heavier stand than my previous stand has definitely... Adding some fucking weight to this. Uh, not loving it. It'll be better when I go back to the bedroom because the carpet will help settle it a bit instead of the tile that I'm currently on. Also, my feet won't be as fucking cold because I put a mat down for my feet to be on uh, because the cold, the tile was fucking freezing. Um, but it's still very cold, even with the mat. Oops. All right. Um, Crash says, I've been watching the Chrono Trigger Endurance Run. I love when they first hear uh uh robo's theme and realize it's it's that it's never gonna keep you up uh lord crash it's been a long time since i watched that chrono trigger endurance run uh that is a good one uh that is a, i would say that might be my second favorite endurance run um because i mean obviously not, not necessarily obviously really fucking loved uh uh persona persona 4 was like a classic and wonderful in such an era, but also really enjoyable and fun. And I was discovering that game along with them, and that was very fun. Um, I, I'm, I'm one of the people out there because we're out there. There's some of us. We have many numbers that could not fucking handle watching uh, uh, that. You know, Deadly Premonition was just like. Very difficult to watch. I did not enjoy Deadly Premonition. I did not enjoy watching people play that video game. And the I like the idea of like the two different, you know, takes on it. I thought that was like a fun 
way to do it, but that doesn't mean that I liked watching them play that. Uh, and that also kind of fits for Shenmue. Uh, I mean, that was a different crew and a different vibe. Um, but I still don't. I mean, I didn't like playing the first that game when I had. I've only played the first game. Um, but yeah, sometimes the, the Deadly Premonition was just very difficult to watch. I was just like, I think I hate this video game. But I know some people love that game. Loved watching the, the, those folks play it. I certainly enjoyed that. But yeah, I mean, they, Persona was just like lightning in a bottle. And Chrono Trigger as well. Like, I really enjoy Chrono Trigger and know the game very well. So then I also have them play uh, it was, was fun. But I mean, it's like, I mean, I, I at the time of the um, Persona 4 Endurance run, I went out and bought a used PS2 because I had sold mine. And I bought a used PS2 and a copy of Persona 4 because I really wanted to play it. Uh, and I have done, I didn't play it in 2021, but I, I last played Persona 4 in 2020 because I have a save of it uh, in my emulator with it saved up past the opening spot. So I can always just, like, it's in, it's backed up. I have it backed up in the cloud. So I can always just, like, start it whenever I want. And I, I, did, I used to play it, like, every other year. So I guess this year, sometime this year, I might play Persona 4. Of course, you can get it on uh, uh, Steam now. Uh, and you can get Golden. I like Golden. I don't love Golden. But, like, you can get back into it if you wanted. Uh, I should probably watch that uh, ER. I've never played Chrono Trigger at this point like we never will. I mean, Chrono Trigger fucking rules. It's so good. It holds up. It bangs. But I understand. Uh, all right. We're building. Getting some kind of information here. Uh, there's a good way to build this and a bad way to build this. And, it, and I don't quite understand what they want from me on that. But whatever. I'll figure it out. Uh, so we need this. We need two of these. These are the eyes. We're building the eyes. I don't know if you can tell, but that's the fucking face of the child we're building here. Uh, the Deadly Premonition one was fun to see how the two groups approached the game with Brad and Vinny doing the playing. I remember them liking the old movie talk and the other York commentary more than the game itself. Yes, the driving around commentary is really solid, and I do, I do think that is some of the best parts of the game. But yeah, I, I get why you'd be like, uh. All right, so we need four of these. Two of that. We need four of these. Only three. Oh, here, here we go. Here's four. Then that's that. Okay, so got an eye thing here. Put one of these underneath it. Um, you can faintly, oh, there you go. So this is what it means. So I don't think this is going to show up here. There is a shadow on this eye that is like down here that you can faintly see. Um, uh, and they, they're basically like, you should have it. So it's down here. I would definitely have missed that. Uh, it's just put out a tweet about NFTs are a scam in case you're wondering. Jeff Minter is also on the fuck NFT bandwagon. Yes. Uh, we heard that earlier that itch, this is like partially probably in response to Gumroad because as people were pulling their stuff off of Gumroad, uh, they were, uh, people were like, I'm, I'm getting off Gumroad and I'm opening a account on, uh, you know, uh, on a coffee or I'm going to open a store on itch to sell my, uh, web comics or whatever. Uh, so yeah, Itch put out a statement. Uh, Coffee also put out a statement that was basically like, uh, "Yeah, don't fucking worry. Like we don't, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not in on this shit." We said, we said, no freaking thanks. Don't worry about that. Uh, I also, that's nice that Jeff Minter, because who the fuck knows? Like he's a technology person. So he's a person interested in technology bullshit. He could be into NFTs. Who the fuck knows? Uh, but I appreciate that he's not. Uh, okay, so that I didn't. This didn't turn out right. This is supposed to be. Okay. All right. So this didn't turn out the way it should have been. I got to figure out how to make it so it is the way I want it. 
Tried to do this right, it didn't work out. So we want to do this, so do it like that, and we'll go on the bottom. I don't have a good way to describe what I'm doing here, but I'm just doing other than I'm doing my best. I think I did this right now. We'll find out. Uh, he was ripping Nolan Bushnell for sticking with NFTs and only tweeting about that lately. Nice. Well, that that's good. You know. That, that is nice to see. Okay, great. We did it. We did one of the eyes. Now we can put one of the eyes here. Eyes have it. There we go. One of the eyes is done. Now I can do to other eye. Yeah, so I have to do like this. Hell yeah. Uh, we're almost done with the stream tonight. I want to finish these eyes before we're, we're done. And of course we do, we are going to raid. That is how we end every stream is with, oh, raid. Because uh, that's nice. We'll find somebody doing stuff. I'm going to try to do somebody we haven't streamed. We haven't raided in a while. Oh, the other night we did raid. Uh, I felt bad because we did raid. Um, uh, 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 the person who has organized the uh, Plamo Weekender, which I talked about earlier in the stream, uh, we did go to Bad Gunpla, uh, and he was done. He was finished for the night, so he went on a raid. And I, I do always try to pick people on the West Coast, but we just we never get to raid uh, Bad Gunpla, so I was excited about that. But he was he was finishing up, uh, which was frustrating because, I, like I said, I had wanted to finish that up um all right let's do this last page here we'll come we'll we'll do these three steps here uh i don't know why these publishers keep lining up to take uh, a stab at announcements thinking they'll be the one not to get pushed back so because money because some people like very few like even small businesses like i think i think a lot of people think about like small businesses like like your uh lateral question earlier in the stream tonight uh, we talked a lot of shit about Gumroad. Um, and people were like, I don't understand why Gumroad isn't like, would be interested in this and isn't like against it because they're so like big on small businesses. And it's like, no, Gumroad is on like big on you giving them money to do things so they can do things. But like, they don't care about your small business. They care about you building things on their site um and like selling things through them so they get money from you so like at the end of the day the ceo of that now maybe there are employees there who care but the ceo there cares about making a fucking bunch of money and if, if you can make a bunch of money on nfts great and the hope is that not enough people actually care and the people that care the most are always going to be upset but maybe they'll fucking go away eventually um so i am looking for two pieces that i cannot find here that i need in order to do this so we are not going to wrap up on the next page we're actually going to wrap up here because i have to find uh two pieces here that go on top of this and i can always pull from the future but my assumption is that i have knocked two pieces to the floor or something because I don't see it on in bag seven, and we weren't supposed to open bag eight yet. Uh, bag eight doesn't get opened for a while here, but there are two pieces that I don't have, and I'm going to need them. So I need to find those two pieces. They're not, I'm looking through what I have here. I don't have a lot here of left of bag seven. Uh, I can see them in bag eight, but I'm going to need those bag eight pieces, I'm sure. So I have to find where those pieces went. I assume I just knocked them on the, on the floor. Uh, you got to watch Murder Bill on Netflix, which is a very good show about improv and seeing whether or will not aggress start breaks character. Lord Crashington, you can enjoy that show. I can't because that is a stolen premise. That is the Terry Withers Mysteries. Uh, and it is, uh, it is a... They basically took an improv show and made their own version of it with will arnett uh it was a long-running ucb show in new york terry has nothing to do with this production is it a, is it an idea that terry invented no but he did definitely popularize it and exists and people involved with it 
saw that improv show and stole the idea and it fucking pisses me off again you can watch it and enjoy it i'm sure it's great i'm sure will and is fantastic but it is stolen valor uh and it bums me out that it exists the way it does uh but anyway that's not neither here nor there we're gonna end on that negative note uh, we're gonna end on me not knowing where two pieces that i need are uh, and me frantically now look, going to go look for those, hoping that I don't think I put them on in the wrong place somewhere, because that doesn't seem like I did. I just probably knocked them to the ground. I have to go find those, because uh, we're going to need them. And my assumption is that it's not that they ended up in bag eight by mistake, and we'll need all the ones in there. So i got to go find those pieces. I'm going to do that on my own damn time. But we are going to rate. That is how we end every stream. I got to go and get uh, this ready here. Uh, we're going to go uh, hang out with some people in uh, in another stream. So feel free to come along on that raid as we go and do that. Because uh, it'll be fun. We'll go find somebody cool as hell to hang out with. Um, who's doing stuff that we want to go hang out with? Um, who's doing stuff that we want to go hang out with? uh wiggins we haven't checked in with matt wiggins in a while matt wiggins is playing pokemon red haven't seen matt in, in a little bit we'll go give matt a raid uh matt's great so we'll go give matt a raid feel free to come along on this stream i hope or raid i hope you have a great rest of your night uh i'll see you on the next one uh where we're gonna finish up this kit we will finish the head of this uh we're, we're so close to it uh so we'll do that so come along on this raid thanks so much for being here i hope you have a great rest of your night um i will see you on the next one uh we're waiting for this to go over there come along on this raid it'll be fun matt's great uh and you will uh you'll have a good time thanks for being here have a great night everybody goodbye 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 goodbye